didn't want just America, we wanted the whole world, you know. South America reared its head and we heard rumours that we were the biggest thing ever in Argentina and Brazil. And they started to ask, uh, ask us to go down there. And they were saying, you know, you can play football stadiums down there. And we went, oh, are you joking? In those days, under the dictatorship in Argentina, we were negotiating with the army general. And he said to me, how can I possibly allow 50,000 young people into a stadium when I can't control them? What happens if somebody suddenly shouts out Viva Peron in the middle of a Queen concert? And I have a riot on my hands. And I tried to explain to him that rather like gladiatorial matches in, in Rome, this was panacea to the people. They'd never, ever had this before. This would be an extraordinary experience. So we got the whole thing together and it was God knows how many jumbo jets full of equipment. And when we arrived in Buenos Aires, as we're unloading it, you could see spent bullet cases, thinking, yeah, we really are in a very different place here. We were looking for a, a bodyguard for Freddy, and this particular man came in, and his opening recommendation was that he killed 212 people. The uh, travel arrangements were very scary, with, you know, driving the wrong way along a raised motorway with outriders, with guys in big jeeps waving their big guns and getting the cars coming straight towards them to pull over. We got caught in a traffic jam and one of the policemen just stood up, put his head through the roof and started firing his gun in the air in order to clear uh, the traffic. Very hair raising. Hello, amigos. Dentro de alguns minutos, vocês vão viver as emoções da primeira grande internacional do ano aqui no Brasil. A apresentação do conjunto Queen. Fred, how do you feel uh, playing and singing before 200,000 people? I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I can remember being nervous the first night. The top tier alone took 80,000. And we were in this sort of dugout, which I guess the football teams would normally be in. But all the windows were broken. And I remember thinking, hmm, this is, you know, it's going to take some balls to walk out there. Hello, San Paolo! I mean, these people don't speak English, but they could sing along all the Queen songs, so they're obviously very genuine fans, and they went nuts. It also takes a certain ego and a certain drive to want to be in that spotlight and go on display. Yeah. And Freddie thrived and got better and bigger arenas. Let's do it to Timber.